Well, Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. I'm telling you right now, what a great time of the year. Today being Christmas Eve, um, gosh, it, just, it doesn't get any better. Weather-wise, at least in Southern Illinois, it doesn't get any better. And uh, we got a little foggy day here ahead of us, but um, I figured I'd put out a, a little content for those guys that are just hanging out in their living rooms and uh, while everybody, all the wrapping gets finished and all that good stuff for Christmas Day. But uh, so this is a Christmas Eve holiday uh, episode. So we're gonna go put slabs in the boat. That's what we're gonna do. And, uh, but let's, uh, let's get ready first. Here we go. All right. Tell you what, guys, I want to start the uh, episode off with thank you so much for a great year. Um, I really have appreciated uh, all the comments, all the followers for this year. So just get that out in front. I uh, really do appreciate you. And I hope you guys have an absolute Merry Christmas and a great time with your families. And hey, I hope you catch a ton of fish too through this holiday. Now it is a little cool today. Um, it's a little damp. I think we do have a little forecast for rain, but I think we're gonna be okay in the wind rider right here. Um, we're gonna put big fish in the boat. We're gonna try a couple different hair jigs. We're gonna be casting at them. Fishing's been phenomenal. Let me show you what I'm gonna fish with. What I've been fishing with, I'll get down here with you guys, has been the all white hair jig. But this time we're gonna go with one I just made up and we're gonna see if it's as good. It has a gray body to it, white head, white tail. We're gonna be fishing with the Optimize. Now, this is now available in the 500 yard spool at snipingbraid.com. Check it out. That's what we're gonna be fishing with today. And of course, we got the most incredible rod, the Hammer 10. You can check all this stuff out at threepoundfishing.com. So we're gonna go ahead and tie this on just real quick. All right, so it's through the eyelet, guys. We're simply gonna swing that guy around. Now, there's a lot of other ways to do a loop knot. I don't say mine's the best, I just the one I use. There it is right there. Now, I've created, I've held, let me see if I can show that without losing it. There it is. There's the loop that it's gonna go through. So it's gonna go through that hole right there. It's kind of difficult to do with braid and a hair jig, but it's doable. I do it every day. So there we go. And there's the GABA stuff right there. I know this is not gonna be easy for you guys to see. And then we're just deciding where that loop knot's gonna go. And there it is right there. Not a bad one, not a bad one at all. So that's what we're gonna fish with. Let's get out there. Check this out guys, man. Nice and foggy, nice and calm. We're gonna have a low wind. Temperature's still gonna be roughly around the mid 40s this morning and then uh, actually warming up a little bit. So uh, a very warm Christmas Eve episode. So yeah. There's our first fish. First fish of the day, guys. That didn't take too long. Good eater, good eater, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Solid fish, that's a keeper. That's a 10 and a half, maybe 11 inch fish. Great fish, now that's a black crappie right there, guys. People that are watching the videos for the first time, but that's a solid fish right there. And we had to play him a little bit, but man, he, he weighed pretty good too for his size. Now, I love these fish that are in the the mud like this guys i love those fish there they seem to be a little bit more aggressive they're not always but they and they and they tend to have a good size to them we really found that out on a guide trip here recently um where you know we had all good fish most of the time but boy when we start targeting just the fish in the mud it just seemed like they, the size just got way better and I don't know why that is. I don't know if they're just eating, if, they, if the big fish like this to get down in the mud. Have no idea. Nothing there. Look at that. Look at those marks, man. That is a lot of marks. Are they, are they active fish? That's the question mark. Bam! I'd say they're active. Well, he's a small guy, but man, they look pretty darn good. But you don't have control over what actually gets the... Well, it actually gets the bait, but look at those marks right there, guys. Just built up a little school 
Um, and we're just trying to cast right on them. Now, I'm a big believer in being as efficient as possible. That means get the bait on the fish, not necessarily 20 feet behind, but I understand that's sometimes that's the easier way to do it. And right now we're just seeing if these fish are gonna come on right now. Here we got one that's playing with us. Stair step them. Ooh. And from time to time, we are gonna run into some structure. Um, Christmas Eve, man. Gotta love it, guys. Full year, what a fantastic year, too. We will be at the Collinsville show first weekend of uh, January. We will be there, sniping braid, three pound fishing. Come talk crappie with us. Uh, we'll talk about that here as well. All right, we got one coming out. Boom, there it is. Oh yeah, baby. Good slab here too, guys. Good slab. Whoa, baby. All right, guys, here's that fish right there. Beautiful fish, slab. So. I do want to let everybody know that we will be at the Collinsville show in Illinois um, on, I believe it's Feb, uh, January 5th, 6th, something like that. It's the first weekend of January. Um, we will have three booths, hog fishing, sniping braid, three pound fishing, hammer tins, everything, jigs, hair jigs are going to be there. We're going to bring a lot of stuff so you guys can uh, take advantage of the show specials that we'll have going on there. So please do me a favor, check out the Collinsville. Come on, come on out. I got, I got like four guys that are going to be there mike matt uh marcus is even going to be there um, we're going to really fill it up and have a great time in a three pound fishing booth the hammer tens the savage 13s all of it's going to be there and that is just a fantastic fantastic crappie show uh in collinsville illinois let's go fishing show i believe it's called um it's fantastic so um come on out and talk crappie that's what i say now for you guys new to my system, this is an 8616. This is a 16 inch monitor, okay? I have a Solix down there that takes care of my waypoints. I do not use the, for the most part, I do not use the mapping on the Garmin unit. Um, it's all mounted on the Cornfield Fishing Gear stuff. I really love it. I use the folding mount from Cornfield Fishing Gear um, because it allows me to fold it down uh, for safety, but also so that I can get my boat cover on the boat if I choose to use it. So it allows me to fold the whole thing down um, and I like that. So I've used a lot of mounts. I've used almost all of Cornfield Fishing Gear's mounts. I really do like the uh, the folding one. I really do. Look at this guy, guys. Look at this. Oh, 30 feet out there, guys. Using the optimized straight up to the jig. Nice pile built up on this point. You gotta love it. And we're just rolling right through it. Now there's no structure on this point. Um, this is just a buildup from uh, the wind, and we got a guy. Bam! There he is. And look how these fish are just stacked up here now. Small little eater. But see how they're just stacked up, and I think that's an accumulation of the wind pushing that bait fish. Now, like I said, I'm fishing with the optimized, the pro spool at snipingbraid.com. You can also get that at um, at three pound fishing I got it on my website too now it's just a new offering in the pro spool which has been requested quite a bit I think our I think our, there we go we added a split shot back because you know one of the problems with not having a split shot is obviously you wait a lot longer and we just caught a fish with a split shot so there you go good solid fish here guys good solid fish we like that we like that again the optimized let me go is straight to the jig look no leader slab i've got four foot of visibility on my lake so have confidence that when you're using the small stuff um, that you can do a lot of things that you can't do if it's a little thicker so a lot of braid companies will you know they'll, they'll put a much thicker braid in there and call it a 10 pound but the reality is that thickness of that braid will hurt you because that is what the fish can see um, and so we're a big believer in thin stuff come on now for christmas for Santa, give me one for Santa. Give me one for Santa, right there. Just jumping it around there, making it crazy. Here comes one from the bottom, I see him. He's thinking about it. Come on, for Santa. Just do it, buddy. Do it, do it. Oh, we got him for Santa. 
We got him for Santa and he's a good fish. <laughs> Boat flipping that baby. Oh, and he gets off. Oh man, all for Santa. But hey, we had him, all right guys? That's half the fun. That's half the fun. Boom, we got him. And that's our Christmas fish right there, guys. He was trying to hook us up, trying to hook us up. Oh, little guy. That's no good. That's no good. We gotta come back for more. There's a better one in there for Santa. Santa deserves a bigger fish. Let's do it again. Let's do it again, right off the bat. Again, we're bumping it around just to try to get some at attention from these guys. Oh, baby. These guys are stoic, sitting still. They really need to be woken up. We got one coming from the bottom. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, we got him. That's a Christmas fish right there, guys. A little bit better, a little bit better. A little bit better. It's a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Christmas Eve, don't get much better, guys. Man, you guys gonna get out in the water, check it out. If you guys aren't, you know, winter crappie anglers, I get it, it gets cold, can get nasty in certain parts of the country, but you know, Southern Illinois, uh, it's kind of a mixture, you know, we get, we get the warm days, the cold days, we get a couple really cold days every year, but right now, not so much. And uh, going out there, the, cro the guide service is crushing it, absolutely smoking it. It's unbelievable how much success we're having right now. It's just a lot of fun, people enjoying themselves. Had an 11 year old in the boat, um, a couple days ago, he smoked, he fished the entire six hours. He caught half the fish, um, as he should, and his dad caught the other half. And I just sat there and enjoyed it really well. Cause you know, a lot of times you get kids in the boat and you know, they'll, they'll go to sleep, they'll get tired, they'll get bored, all that stuff. Not this one, this one was on point and um, on fire as well. So we're just looking around for crappie right now. A lot of people talk about, uh, I do a lot of the TikToks, you know, live now. And the biggest conversation that comes up there, what are my settings? So let's just know that my gain, I never touch. I never touch my gain, guys. Doesn't matter what water I'm in, Sardis, Grenada, or my home lake. Big difference in clarity between those. Um, I never touch it. Um, and I don't think you should have to touch it. So if I were to recommend to anybody about how to get the best settings on your unit, go to default settings. Uh, do your noise reject. Some people are going to disagree with me, and that's fine. I go high. Noise reject is on high because I want a clear, clear screen. And I can't emphasize that enough. If you want a clear screen, go to high noise reject. There's a little bit of a delay, but you'll get used to it. And um, But you'll have a fantastic screen. Let's catch a fish. There we go, we got some aggressive ones here. Boom, we got him. Hey, he's a good fish here. Good fish here, guys. So yeah, I'm, I love the fish in the mud, guys. And when they're stacked up, this is our best fish of the day right here. This is a 13. Check it out, it's beautiful fish. That's a picture fish. That is a picture fish, beautiful fish. Um, I think if I were to leave you with it, you know, something, you know, there's a lot of different types of styles of groupings of crappie. This is a school right here. And yes, I think you can catch some fish right there, but anytime you can find them stacked on inclines, I just truly believe that those fish are just a little bit more aggressive. Um, so here, here comes some right here. These guys are just absolutely stacked. Um, and you'll find that they can just be just crazy stacked. There we go. Just little jumps to just to try to get them, just trying to get them woken up. Just trying to get them, here we go. And I stair step it away, here we go. Boom, we got them. Good fish. Now. The Hammer 10 guys, I'm telling you right now, coupled up with this uh, optimized, you can't go wrong. Bam. There you go, guys. Hey, I appreciate you guys for 
three. I really do. It's great fish. We're going to let them go. We always let them go at three pound fishing. Um, and have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy the time with your family. I've got my daughters home and we're having a ball. And, um, and the other thing is if you want to follow three pound fishing a little bit more day to day, check it out on the TikTok. I'm doing lives almost, I won't say every day, but darn near it. And uh, we're about to go live on TikTok here and check it out. Um, all these products are available on TikTok shop. All these products are available at three pound fishing. And, uh, but most importantly, have a wonderful Merry Christmas. And hopefully I can see some of you guys at the Collinsville show. We will be there uh, from the time they open up to the time they close down on Sunday, um, a group of us. So if you see some of the characters you see in this boat, they're gonna be there at the Collinsville show and you can talk to them and uh, talk crappie and they're great dudes. So have a good one guys, take it easy.